So we're heading towards Edward's third birthday and I was like, I just don't want him to spend another birthday in hospital. Like I just, I don't want that. And so I carried on with the CBD um, and the doctor's like, wow, he's making such a fast recovery. It's amazing. I'm like, oh, it's it's a miracle. It's a miracle. (laughs) Science. (laughs) Hospital. So So you still didn't, you were in hospital, you didn't share this? I, no. Okay. No, because it was very illegal. Um, it wasn't like at that stage you there wasn't anything available, um, and so this was coming from Green Fairies, and I love that term, yeah. Green Fairies. I, I think now we should actually be we should really be talking about them as compassionate providers. Um, I think Green Fairies, um, it, it's lovely, and it it's you know I, I have. I have so much affection for the network of um, green fairies that we have here in New Zealand, but I actually think they need proper recognition for um, filling a gap that really the Ministry of Health should have been um, so supporting. For, for, a new, uh, for, a, uh, for a noob, I'm, I'm assuming that green fairy is somebody that um, does the legwork of getting it into the country, but do you want to just explain uh, what it is? Uh, well, so, yeah. So uh, a green fairy is um, what... what what I would like to term like a compassionate provider. So it's somebody who grows medicinal marijuana strains and provides them to patients. So we're not talking about street weed. And so they don't do any kind of street weed at all? This is not something they do on the side? Honestly, generally speaking, I, I, the, the green fairies that I know and have come into contact, that's all they do. They just wow. do medicinal marijuana. They might have originally started off somewhere else, but um, – the, the patient need is huge and, uh, yeah, there, there have been, since I've kind of uh, tapped into that network, like there are constant shortages. There are always more patients than there, are, there is supply. Um, and, yeah. The and, that, and that's interesting because that's an underground system that many people don't know about. So if mm. there is more patients than supply in an underground system, imagine if it was legal, mm. how many patients there'd be. Yeah. 